Hi, I'm doing Paul McCorter's PKW lessons and I've previously done a video for lesson number 63 when he wanted us to just play around with classes and get to know what happens in, with classes. But my video, I went into an awful lot of detail, so it was jolly long and I thought I would just make a very quick video. Well, my videos are never that quick. And uh, just to show the basics of what you can do. So this video has no dogs, no cats, and no guinea pigs. So if we have a look at it, I'm just using a class of rectangle and um, giving a class attribute of rectangle. Then all I'm doing is I'm setting up the width and the length and in the dund in it. Now, the, what I'm aiming to do is to be able to change the length and width on the fly and still get the right results for area, perimeter and diagonal and be able to get the area, perimeter and diagonal but not to be able to change them because if you can change a calculated value that's pretty silly. I mean change them in the actual program not in the class and also when you print the rectangle object of your dreams it will um, give you a bit more um, something a bit more sensible rather than saying hello this is an object and also in Keith's video he was doing all sorts of things when he set up an array of tuples which had um, three and four the, the width and the length and then six and eight and five and whatever and then he was going through them and um, going L comma W equals whatever and then he was creating a rectangle object and then he was appending this rectangle object to a rectangle thing. Well I just wanted to show you that you whoops why did I do that that you can actually do it like that in one line which is a lot easier. Uh, right. Uh, that uh, the dunder string. This is what happens if you if you go print rectangle. No, print whatever you call your rectangle thing, like print r. There, yeah? uh, it will actually do self dot shape, which is rectangle, is the width by the length, which is kind of handy rather than doing everything. Um, you know, putting all the information in because you wouldn't really want the information all the time. Now this, as opposed to having a um, self dot area um, attribute, I've got a function on it as a method in, in a class that's did, right, which just returns the um, length times width for the area and if you put at property in front of it that is actually treating it you you can get it back the user can get it back by just going dot area um, on the um, class and it means that people can get it but they can't amend it you know they can't alter it which is it would be silly to be able to amend um, the area, the perimeter, or the diagonal because they're all um, calculated. Now, as well as that, I'm just I've just got a simple subclass because the special case of a rectangle is a square. So I'm just changing the dunder init to be um, to only take one parameter, which is the side. So I make the width and the length side the same. Um, and then that's the equivalent of key split and then I'm just printing out all the details for the rectangles and all the details for the squares and that's that. So we'll just run this. Right, go up to the top. It says rectangle is 3 by 4. That comes from there. Area. What I've done there is you can actually call it r.area because of that property thing. 
otherwise if you wanted to get it you'd have to go r dot area bracket bracket um, but the property makes it a lot nicer and same with perimeter diagonal then it goes through all the rectangles then it goes through all the squares now I can change things I will get rid of that get rid of that and up here I'll just go my rect whoops it doesn't really matter what I call it my rect equals rectangle I will go with 3 comma 4 as usual that isn't how you that isn't anywhere near how you spell rectangle right and then I can just print my rect then I can go my rect dot length equal oh, my spelling is awful length well not spelling typing my length uh, equals seven for example and then I can go print my rect again and then um, copy right we'll just try running that right the rectangle is three by four then I altered the length so it's three by seven now it says the area equals um, 21 which is right the perimeter is 20 which is right and the diagonal oh your guess is as good as mine that's um, 49 plus 958 well 49 yeah that looks kind of okay so that shows that you can do it on the fly um, but here as I said you don't actually want to be able to change one of the calculated values Ooh. Ooh. try that again that, that went very odd I think it's because I hadn't stopped it right we'll Oh, it didn't like that. It did not like that. But we'll ignore that bit. It says rectangle area has no attribute perimeter. And that is because even though when you get it, you it will act like uh, an attribute. If you try and write to it, it isn't an attribute. So I just thought, is there anything else I wanted to say? Uh, no. No, apart from... I explain things in my longer video a lot better, but um, it is a long video.